Hi everybody, welcome to Daily Scuba News. Several barrels of beer that were being stored underwater have gone missing and are presumed stolen. More and more breweries around the world have been experimenting with storing their alcohol underwater because the temperature is relatively stable down there and the conditions are quite stable as well. So three craft breweries and a dive center in Argentina, they all came together and came up with a plan to make a mature dark ale and store it in barrels fixed to a nearby shipwreck for a few months off the coast of Argentina so it can mature properly. They came up with this idea and they petitioned to build a metal frame onto the front of the Russian Chronometer shipwreck because you can't just, you know, go down to any old shipwreck and just weld on some cages um, so they had to do quite a lot of petitioning to make sure that they could actually do this properly um, and after about a year of paperwork and planning the group managed to organize a permit to use the spot to age their beer the plant or ale, I think there is a technical difference. So the plan was to leave it there for a few months and then mix it up topside and brew 2,000 bottles of chronometer beer and then the proceeds of all the beer that they sold would be donated to a local natural science museum, which is great. The pandemic threw a small spanner in the works and whilst they didn't manage to sink as many barrels as they had originally planned, they did manage to sink seven barrels and attach them to this like metal cage in the front of the bow of, uh, of Chrono Menther, Mether. Uh, and there the barrels stayed from November until about February 2021. Divers from the uh, Thalassa Diving School have been checking the barrels periodically to make sure that the barrels were okay and um, they were all sleeping snugly in place on the 19th of January when they were last checked. Only when they checked on the barrels the day before they were due to be raised on February 23rd, the barrels were gone. So the breweries and the dive centre have called for a criminal investigation to try and track down who did this because they were either stolen or vandalised. That's kind of it. It's a bit of a chance that they just naturally left. There's only a slim chance that this is natural causes. It's more likely that someone took them. And because the Chronometha was already a fairly popular shipwreck with scuba divers anyway, they figure that someone or a group of divers half-inched it. Now, they say that if someone did actually steal the barrels, planning on a huge keg party or something, they're, they're actually going to be sorely disappointed. The ale itself isn't anywhere near drinkable yet in its current state. It actually needs to be blended and gassed first before it's anywhere near drinkable. So, if it was stolen, the thieves are plumb out of luck because they can't drink what they stole or it really wouldn't be worth drinking uh, and hopefully someone will manage to track down the barrels either washed up somewhere or honestly handed in somewhere but either way the gang are already planning round two where they're going to be sinking some more barrels uh, after the current lockdown so that they can do it again properly um if you have any information about where these barrels could or might be, um, you can let us know anonymously down in the comments below. Um, if not, yeah, don't don't go stealing other people's stuff, especially if it's clearly marked down there that uh, you shouldn't be touching it. Um, but anyway, that's it for the news. Hopefully the barrels will be found. Um, if they are, let us know down in the comments below with a link to the news article. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. So several barrels of beer that were being stored